We're getting breaking news in the Malaysian missing Malaysian aircraft. One of the two suspects who travelled on the missing Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 on stolen passports has been identified. The Malaysian police uh, has said that just a short while back. In fact, uh, they have said that they can confirm that this person was not a Malaysian, but uh, so far they are not willing to divulge the identity or the nationality of this person who was traveling on a fake passport. Vikram Gopinath, news editor CCTV is now joining us uh, on the phone line from Beijing. Vikram, uh, is this only one person so far that they've been able to identify who traveled on a fake passport because uh, apparently there were two of them and any any clue about the person's identity? Well, Maya, at this point of time, there were two suspects initially that were raised yesterday, in fact, uh, uh, but we still, uh, there are reports that are coming and there could be four people uh, with fake passports as well, but these are just reports that are floating around at, uh, right now. Um, out of the two, there's an Australian national and an Italian national who, in fact, uh, lives in Phuket in Thailand, who had come out uh, in a press conference that clearly said his uh, passport was stolen a year back uh, in Thailand itself. Uh, the Austrian national hasn't come out in public at this point of time. But we clearly uh, see that uh, this is just one of the angles that the Malaysian Civil Aviation authorities as well as the investigative agencies are uh, involving at this point of time. Vikram, also, what is the latest on the search operations? Well, several uh, ships have been deployed at this point, of, uh, clearly, but uh, uh, more than uh, 35 vessels and uh, close to about 40 uh, aircraft have been deployed for the search operations. Uh, uh, this is no more uh, in a Southeast Asian search. It's a global search with Australia sending a couple of flights. China has already sent its uh, vessels. And uh, the U.S. is also helping out with Interpol and FBI. So this is uh, definitely a global search, uh, but it's still baffling. It's more than almost about uh, three days since uh, the flight com went missing. And uh, with 239 people on board, uh, there are, in fact, uh, the China government is, uh, the, initially, uh, the foreign ministry spokesperson had clearly said that uh, uh, they need to, Malaysian government authorities have to speed up uh, the search operations because just about 154 Chinese nationals are missing. Uh, but even as uh, the hopes fade fast, they're hoping that, you know, hoping against hope that they might just return or at least find the debris at this point of time. And as of now, the authorities have uh, not ruled out any, uh, the angle of a hijack as well. Vikram Gopinath, many thanks for joining us with those details from Beijing.